We made a little oopsie poopsie, a little uh oh, what, whoa, a little mistake, a little, a little, we, we heard some fifis, we're so sorry, we're so sorry. So if you've been paying any attention to Twitter lately, you'll know that it's a right wing cesspool. You got all kinds of stuff going on in there. You got not just trans people they're shitting on anymore. It's gay people, black people, Asian people, Jewish people, all kinds of people. If you're not like a cis straight white man and you're also not making fun of those people, you are going to have a bad time on Twitter. It's very bad. And Elon's not helping at all. But this is not about Elon. This is about another individual, another prominent individual of the more female variety. You may say biological female variety, right? This one's about uh, JK Rowling, specifically a uh, not very nice, not very nice picture of JK Rowling that was depicted in a, I guess it's Oxfam, Oxfam video. I don't even know what Oxfam is. Let me look that up, hold on. Oxfam International, Oxfam official site. Okay, so it's like a poverty organization, a charity, like a nonprofit. Oxfam International on Twitter released a video that we'll get to in just a second, but apparently, you know, actually we'll do the video first. We'll do the video first. So this is the video, uh, they took it down, so, and we'll get to why. So this is not their official uh, Twitter account, but this is the original video that they had uploaded and apparently it was not very tasteful. Let's take a look at what's going on. How are you marking Pride Month this year? While LGBTQIA plus people around me- Just say queer, please, for the love of God, just say queer. I, I cannot stand, like the plus was just supposed to be for the Q, the I, the A, the N, the Y, the Z, the click consonant, whatever else. I'm doing the meme, I know. But like, just say queer, please, for the love of God, it's getting too, it's too much. It's are too deprived much. of basic safety, not protected by laws, preyed on by hate groups online and True. offline. Ah, now what's this? This is important, okay? Uh, we'll get to why in a second. Discriminated against at work, deprived of Burn that image into your skull. And pushed to the margins. But pride can be found etched deeply in the hand of a friend, the hug of a chosen family member, or the safe spaces of a kind community. That's true. This Pride Month, we take pride in those who protect and champion safety for LGBTQIA plus people. We all must stand together with queer folks online, at work, in schools, in sport, through laws, everywhere. We call to protect the pride. Are you with us? Okay. I thought that was fine. Yeah, I thought that was fine. I mean, it's a little Tumblr for my taste. It's not, I wouldn't watch a video that's, I wouldn't watch a, a, a TV series that's animated like that, but I, I, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, the gays are having their fun, but uh, not everybody thought that this was fun and all fun and games, right? Including Laura Evans here on Twitter. So Maya Forstater sa states, an Oxfam GB staffer tells her story to Bindel J about how she was subject to a witch hunt after defending JK Rowling. Now, we're not going to read that article. I'm more interested in the reply, which is a bit rare. It's a bit rare that the reply is more important than the original post. It was so important, in fact, that Vouch himself came down from the mountaintop to comment on it. it says, it's a deliberate reference to J.K. Rowling, which is illegal in addition to being sexist, ageist, racist, etc. I can see sexist and ageist, I guess, but like racist, it's, it's racist. It's, this is race against what race against paste race against like Elmer's glue race. This is like Peppa Pig pink. Like who is this racist against British phrenology? Like, I'm sorry. And also, yeah, this is, this is, I mean, this is a pretty accurate portrayal of just your standard British person. Your brute bonga. Oi, bruv, you can't do that. You can't do that, bruv. No, no, you can't do that. I also want to point out the irony in them complaining about this shit. Meanwhile, like how many caricatures of trans people, like real trans people, right? Do you think that this dumb bitch has laughed at? Like how many? Like, okay, do you guys remember? Here, hold on. Recently, you've probably seen stuff like this. Right, the transgender pole jack. It's very good. What else we got? Uh, we got some other goodies. Most actually, this is Wojak Paradise, and most of the trans representation on here is not bad. But yeah, no, like clearly, clearly there's plenty going on on both sides to be upset about here. More one side than the other. It's not gratuitous. It's probably fine. Maya Forstad has literally shared drawings of trans women as hairy, burgeoning perverts that are flashing their genitals at cis women. Do you have a link to that? Like an NSF, or not NSFW, obviously, a SFW link? Because I would love to see that, actually. So that was the original video. Now, apparently, Oxfam decided to be pussies. They decided to be pussies about this. I thought, 
by the way, they said that this is a direct, I didn't even say this part yet. It's a direct uh, reference to JK Rowling. Like we haven't talked about that part yet. And I just think that's hilarious. Whoever, whoever was doing the art was clearly a trans person. Okay. We see you. We see what you did. All right. And it's a good thing you did it too. You know what? And you were right to say it. What a queen or king or then the the emperor, whatever. Like just fantastic. Just flawless. Okay. JK is totally clockable. Uh, I mean, anybody's clockable, right? People have clocked, clocked me as a trans man simply because I talk about trans rights, which you don't have to be trans to do. You can just be a decent person. Anyway, Oxfam International decided, you know what? You know what, guys? You know what? I We are, we are so, oh boy, we're so sorry. Man, that is our bad. That's our bad. It's an official statement. Oxfam believes that all people should be able to make decisions which affect their lives, enjoy their rights, and live a life free of discrimination and violence, including people from LGBTQIA plus communities. In efforts to make an important point about the real harm caused by transphobia, we made a mistake. We made a little oopsie poopsie, a little uh oh, whoa, whoa, a little mistake, a little, a little, we, we heard some fifis. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. We have therefore edited the video to remove the term turf, and we are sorry for the offense it caused. There was no intention by Oxfam or the filmmakers for this slide to have portrayed any particular person or people. <sighs> we fully support both an individual's right to hold it, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so lots of corporate bullshit. It just, 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 just unfathomably weak, like a straw house, man. This isn't even like a target. This is like a human rights campaign, right? Like this is a, a charity. And they're like, we're so sorry, we're so sorry. Oh, the little transforms, oh, we're so sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Did, we, did we interrupt? Your trans stoning process. Would you do you have to drop the stone that you were going to toss at that trans person's skull because you were offended by the term turf? Oh, we're so sorry. We're so sorry. Like just unfathomably weak. Just insanely cucked. I hate this. With every fucking fiber of my being, I hate this. This needs to go away. They don't deserve to fly this. Fuck you. Fuck you. If this is the support that we get, okay, with friends like these who needs enemies, right? What the fuck is this? Get out of here. Get go. We don't need you. No. Turf is not okay. Turf is a slur. Let's get that right. But it literally means trans exclusionary radical feminist. They they termed that shit. Okay. They came up with that in the literal sense. It is a slur, but it is obviously not to the same extent that the N words a slur targeting immutable characteristics. I would say it's in a gray area, but we're not here to talk about that. Regardless of whether you think it's a slur or not, it's clearly not as harmful. It's not harmful. It's not harmful at all. Like it's not a harmful slur. And if you call it a slur, I don't fucking care. It's a slur. It, yeah, it's a pejorative. It's a slur that I'm totally fine saying. That's the point. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's a slur or not. It's not harmful. So if you want to technically qualify it as a slur, quote, 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 unquote, 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 unquote. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Whatever. I'll still say it. Point is, this is insanely spineless. I hate this so much. And this on top of Target, on top of Bud Light, on top of all these other, these spineless ghoul corporations do not care one iota about gay or trans people. And obviously we all knew this. But they're showing it. You know, they're, they're being caught with their pants down now. I mean, this is a fucking charity, for God's sake. It doesn't make any sense. And it sucks. It really, really sucks. Oh, yeah, I wanted to see uh, Vosh's comment. It's so cool how you angloid fucks are so allergic to free speech that you're up in arms to sue over an insulting caricature of a billionaire. Also, how the fuck is this sexist, ageist, or racist? Yeah. Notice, by the way, they didn't care about, like, the other two. Who seem to be... If I'm not, hold on, hold on, hold on. These other two people actually appear to be, oh, that's why they were saying it was racist. Because these two are on the sides. Oh, because like we recognize that like Asian and Mexican people can also be pieces of shit. It's racist. Yeah, okay, dude. Okay. Yeah, fuck turfs. And, and fuck Oxfam, by the way. We don't need help like that. If you're going to fold at the slightest big of, bit of pushback, then fuck you. We don't need you. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. You can join my channel membership at youtube.com slash TTV slash join for only 99 cents a month. That's less than the price of a blowjob from your mom. You can be part of the channel membership program and you will get early access content as well as a sweet badge next to your name and exclusive emojis in the comments that nobody else gets. Thank you again, and I will see you all in the next video.